Hello, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be taking you over some basic extrusion techniques. The first one I'm going to walk you through is the edit mesh, keep faces together, and the effects you can achieve with that. So, basically, you're just going to create a polygon sphere, go into shaded mode, keep keep faces together on, and extrude. And as you can see, it's pretty dull. All it does is pretty much just duplicate another version of the sphere so this can be used if you want thicker objects I guess you could say if you're going to be cutting into them but generally pretty useless the technique I'm going to show you at the moment is if you disable keep faces together and you extrude you can achieve things like that now this is probably also pretty useless but when used correctly it can make some tasks very very easy so yeah, that's just going to edit mesh and changing key faces together. The second technique I'm going to go over is extruding along a curve and the benefits you can have from that. So I'm just going to go into side view, create a cube, and then go to create CV curve tool. So with the CV curve tool, you can just click and drag your curve into pretty much any shape you want. And I'm just going to go into perspective and then control vertex and change some of this around a little bit just to get a more warped shape, just for example's sake. Once you have your curve set up, try move the center of one of the of the face you're going to extrude towards the um, the start of the curve from there select your face then select the curve and you can extrude now as you can see that looks pretty dodgy it doesn't really look like anything so we're just going to go into the channel box and you'll see down here we'll have divisions, twist, and taper. At the moment we're just going to select divisions. I'm just middle clicking and dragging now and it adds more divisions as you can see. Now there you go, you have pretty crazy extrusion I guess. Now you can just lower that, increase it. It's pretty simple. For more effects, you can also twist it around. This probably isn't the best shape to do it on, but you can see how it works. And then taper just increases the thinning, so if it thins out or if it just stays the same. And now it looks a little bit better if I add some twist to it. So yeah, that's two pretty basic extrusion techniques, and they can help you out a lot. Now, another really cool thing about extruding along a curve is if you select your curve, go to control vertex, so you can select the vertices of the curve, and you actually move those, it changes the shape of your model with the curve. So, like so. Now, this can become a pain because as you'll see, you won't be able to delete your curve because if you do it deletes the whole um, extrude history and you'll be back to just your square so to fix this up we're just going to select the mesh just the mesh on its own go to edit delete by type history that just got rid of all the history from there so now we can't edit this extrusion anymore and then we can go in if you don't need the curve anymore delete it and you're left with your final shape. That pretty much concludes this tutorial. I hope you learnt some new techniques that will help you out in the future.